Now let's discuss about spelling check. Spelling check is very vital and never to be taken for granted because this helps you automatically locate the fault or the wrongly typed word and suggest what to use to fix the error. So how can you use spelling check? We are going to show you in this brief tutorial. Now let's start. So to use spelling check, you will simply have to come down to review. Come to review on your menu bar. After clicking, come under this group. The group is called proving. That is more like proofreading and many others. Come to this. When you have the first one day spelling, click on it. Then a dialog box appears. First and foremost, you will have this prompt asking you whether you want to continue. You click on yes if it asks. Then this dialog box up here. On this dialog box, it will check one after the other. In the case of televisions, you realize that there was a, um, wrong spelling in television, so it gives you a suggestion. You could ignore or you could make the correction. In this case, we want to correct it. The right one ought to be single L instead of double. So you could ignore or you could change. How do you change? You come in here where you have change and click on it or that. Or you could press alternate button and say we do the same thing. That one has been corrected. Now in this second one, you realize that um, it's um, done S might not be the right one. So it also prompts you to make a change. You could ignore, you could make a change, use one of the suggestions here, or you could manually edit it. It's all yours. To manually edit it, you just come in here and uh, make clean and type what you had in mind. Or you could come in here as we earlier done and click on the one suggested if it's okay by you. So that is how you make the change and also accept the change. It moves to another one. It's coming to the laptop. It says, uh, uh, what I noticed about what you have done is that under the laptop, there was E that ought not to be there. Or do you actually want to use the S and so on? So it gives you a, a perfect suggestion. Then you can come to change. When it is done, you can see this then same dialog, uh, see this box coming up. Spell check complete. You're good to go. So I click on OK. So I click on OK. We have finished checking everything. So there are basically two ways in which you could edit your work in Excel. One of the ways is that you double click on a particular cell to which you are to edit. I am double clicking this. I could decide if I am to remove part of this or maybe I want to add more figures to it. I will insert it. Remember, you have to double click. Single click will only highlight the cell, but double click will create opportunity for you to edit that is step now in step two you can simply click on the cell then come to this place it's called formula bar and then edit it that is very simple too you could delete you could backspace you could add to it as much as you want that is the second way to which you can edit you will agree with me that that tutorial was helpful so subscribe like share this video i will see that next tutorial Thanks so much.